I sold two vintage Art Deco round bubble glass ceiling light shades, two of them to the same buyer for $40 each. Should I pack them together or separately? I'll show you in this video. Here's the light pink one. I had a yellow one too, but it sold quite some time ago. I got these at a garage sale, all three for about $5. Let's take a closer look at this one. So what I'm concerned about is, is all of this area here that I need to fill in. And I do have some packing peanuts, so that is a possibility. But I gotta pack it up really good. I'm gonna check the measurement here. It's just under 10 inches without any bubble wrap. So it's not going to work to wrap this and put it in a 10 by 10. I'm still thinking, what am I going to do? I've decided that I'm going to start with packing peanuts. You know, it's not my favorite thing, but I'm going to start with these. They may not be my buyer's favorite thing either. And sorry about the glare. I always get glare with stuff like this. This has a white coating on the inside not the outside. That is probably a really good thing. Why is that? Because I'm going to use some stretch wrap on the outside. If this had the white on the outside, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't take the chance that it might affect the finish. So carefully picking it up. Luckily, this is very thick glass. Yes, it's stretch wrap, but I always cut it. Let's move this down. It's pretty good. There's a couple places where they jumped ship, but I'm going to go with this. And before I try to wrap both of them, I'm going to focus on just one, one at a time. And something that I like to do is to sometimes, sometimes, not always, start with small bubble wrap. This is quarter inch bubble wrap. Let me move the camera back. And the reason I'm going to start with small before I add the large is that it will conform better to the shape. It's more flexible. It doesn't offer as much protection as large bubble wrap, but I can get it to fit better. So I'm making it really snug. I'm going to fold the corners up and tape. I said I'm trying to make it as snug as possible. And I'm not putting any pressure on it. But you can see how easily I can shape the small bubble wrap around it. I have these flaps on the corner. I'm going to fold these up. I can't even remember how I packed and shipped the last one. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. All right, small bubble wrap, done, check. Large bubble wrap. And I'm not sure how many pieces I'll need. I guess I need three, not two. This is why I can't ship them together because the box would be oversized, it would have a surcharge, and it just isn't worth the, the risk. And it, so it's just not worth the, the weight or the risk to ship them together. And if one ended up broken, they'd probably both be broken. So I'm gonna go with shipping these separately. I do kinda wanna keep the height under eight inches if I can, and I'm good. So back to this. The inside bubble wrap. I'm gonna pull these two points together, a little piece of tape. Same thing here, I'm just gonna, well, they, these aren't going to make it very well, but my tape's a little bit short. Okay. Now, to make sure that I don't get too high on here, I can go ahead and make the bubble wrap just meet in the middle. Just checking this seam. I think I'll do that. I think I'm gonna make the meat in the middle. I'm 
this is feeling pretty good. I can't feel the globe at all. I'm going to check the box fit. Yeah, by the time I get some air pillows in the bottom and finish this off, this is going to work great. I have found that these air pillows that I use fit really nice in these boxes, four and four, like so. And then I'm going to add some more bubble wrap, three pieces this way, and I think I'll just go ahead and cross over three pieces the opposite direction. Now let's check for fit. It lined up. Uh, I think I have it maybe too high. Yep, too high. Bummer. Build up too high, so I have to let go of something. I always try air pillows in the bottom on the first round, and it made it too high. So instead I have three pieces of bubble wrap this way, three pieces this way. You know, it goes to me. This is half inch bubble wrap. Really nice bubble wrap. And I'm going to slide this in. See, I need to have some room at the top like I have here. I am going to take the sides and roll these down. Fold these in. And you can still see I have some room here. And it's not enough for air pillows, but I'm pretty certain it's enough for two sheets of large half inch bubble wrap. There we go. That's how we're going to shift this. And I'm just wondering, you know, I'm checking to see if there's any room to put air pillows in the corners. Find out. It's getting pretty tight and they're pushing up, so I guess not. Although I'd like to put something in there. I think I'll put four cardboard tubes, one in each corner. These will compress. I prefer air pillows, but you do what works. Okay, let's try this. Close it up, feels good. Give it the shake test, feels good. I'll get it taped up and in the mail and I'll repeat the same process for the next one.